I, I want to go back you because you said like uh, if a project could take you know like like up to a year that how do they sort of manage they have you know they've got five of these shovels two so two of them are going out of commission how do they sort of manage that and how do you work with that because then you've got tie line if this machine's tied up there's all that sort of uh, navigation that you have to do as well it it's it's really uh, there's there's a dichotomy there in that there's instances that even we're going through right now where yes the component is supposed to go to fifty thousand hours but something went bump in the night and they need something very, very urgently. We're able to not only come up with a solution for what that long-term fix is, but with our field service expertise, we're able to dispatch field service technicians who have not only the equipment to lift the shovel up to Mm -hmm. do the maintenance on it, but also the expertise to, okay, what is the temporary solution going to be? How can we work with our shops to expedite that solution um, and limit the downtime, knowing that in six months, 12 months, they're going to need a whole new system. It still allows that machine to operate, even though it may limp along in some cases until they get to that replacement window. I saw a note about uh, like not lifting the machine for repair, but something like, like do you actually, I, I don't even know how to ask the question because I don't know the terminology, but the, like you're actually lifting the machine. Yeah, so that, that kind of goes into how how this system works. It's it's essentially a large bearing um, on the top side of the machine where the revolving frame and everything that attaches to it. Um, there is what we call an upper rail that gets bolted to the revolving frame, and on the base of the uh, car body is where the swing rack or the swing pedestal on the four ninety five is affixed to. So that encompasses a gear which is driven by pinions from a swing system. And then in between that is a lower rail and then a thrust rail. So all of those components, you can't just replace by, you know, piecemealing them in. You physically need to lift the entire upper half of the machine above a point at which you can slide all of those components in. In some cases, the machine is lifted and the actual whole, the the lower portion of the machine is actually propelled or, or pulled out from underneath the machine and all that maintenance is done outside of the machine. So there's a lift system that's required for that. Yeah, we have our on-site milling capabilities as well. That's correct. Right? With yep. their field service. So depending on the condition of the um, revolving or the car, car body, right? Mm-hmm. Um, then we have milling equipment too that they can go out there and, and true that whole surface up before replacing it with the new components too. So you really have two things happening at once. You have the preparing the machine, you have the actual milling that's happening here, I guess three things, but then you also have maybe field service that's helping that machine continue operating before, so that you can, well, this is get, getting built. Then, Correct. Right? Okay. So getting built and actually being installed, that's one of the most critical pieces of, you know, putting a new swing system in is making sure the repair is done correctly. And that's kind of what Kayla was alluding to is that that car body over time at 50,000 hours, it requires a lot of TLC to get it back into a condition that it's able to receive these swing systems. So our technicians are able to come in and conduct those field service repairs, um, machine them back to an OEM specification, which is very difficult. They hold a very tight flatness tolerance. Mm. And if that's not maintained, it's directly going to impact the performance of the swing systems. So that's part of that turnkey trusted relationship that LNH has with our customers and why they come to us for their swing system needs. Um, it's it's not just the parts, it's not just the service, it's the overall value package that LNH brings to the table. 